Hey guys, it's Julia. Welcome um, to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a holiday party um, or just holiday get ready with me. Um, so it really was fun for me because I did a bunch of, um, used a bunch of products for the first time. Um, so pretty much most of my face is first impressions. So that was fun. It's a little rocky, but... It's okay, it all worked out, it all came together really, really nice. Um, it is a get ready with me, so I showed you how I did my hair. I'm going to show you the outfit. This is not the outfit. Um, well, it's a little bit of it, but there's a lot more to that. Alright, let's get into this video. Okay, so just really quick, with my no makeup, my skin is so bad right now, so please, please try and look past that. But we are going to use this it cosmetics um cc cream in shade light i apply it straight onto the brush god there's hairs like dog hairs or something okay so we're just blending in that it cosmetics um cc cream dragging it down the face I don't usually put more for the forehead. I just kind of try and get the remainder off of um, the brush. Okay. Now that the base is on, we are going to do concealer. And for concealer, we are going to use the Naked Skin by Urban Decay in shade Light Warm with a damp beauty blender. Gonna apply under the eyes. So since this is a holiday party look we're gonna go full glam mode so we're gonna put some on the forehead to brighten on the chin and down the center of the nose i think that i got that pretty centered hopefully and just to blend it out with um your beauty blender okay now that we are blended with our concealer we are going to use the same damp beauty blender to um, apply the setting powder. I feel a little hair. And for setting powder, or is that what it's called? Translucent powder. Um, we're using the Laura Mercier that everyone uses all the time. I really want to try out a new one, so if you have any suggestions, please let me know because, um, yeah, I've just been using this one forever. So just put it under the eyes. I'm not like a heavy baker or anything I just like want it to fill in the creases put a little on the forehead and on the chin and then I move on to a fluffier brush this brush is I think synthetic complexion powder but then I just take a little bit more and I just blend it all in okay now that we have applied um, all of those products, which are products that I've used over and over again, we are going to move into ones I've never used, which is really exciting. So the first thing that we're going to do is bronzer. And I um, got a new brush too, so let me open this real quick. It said it was like for sculpting. Um, yeah, pro sculpting brush. And it like looked like just a really nice shape, so I wanted to um, get it, see. I feel like this is gonna be really good to like, okay, but we'll see because I've never used this bronzer before. So I got the Bobbi Brown Bronzing Powder in Natural, never been used. Still has the plastic on here and there's that so let's give it a go just um to bronze it up because i don't like to contour really i like to um just bronze and then hopefully that contours okay can you see that oh yes you can wow i like this this brush like you know new brushes though they're like always kind of stiff definitely needs to like get a little fluffier so but I think I like the bronzer. It's kind of not blending like amazing. But I'm not going to give up. Hmm. I don't know. 
I don't know. I like the color. Maybe it's just this brush. But it's like... Oh, I just... Um, it's not like as smooth as my Marc Jacobs one. I think it might be the brush. <laughs> Let's put some on the forehead. I'm so jealous. My brother and my dad are leaving for Hawaii tomorrow. <laughs> For Christmas, not um for Christmas, but for just a little winter getaway. I actually chose to go to New York um, to visit my best friend um, instead, but um, for New Year's. So I'll be there for New Year's and I'm going to vlog. It's going to be so fun. But um, I want this to be like really intense. I'm going to switch brushes and use... This one that I have from Target that I love so much. It's a Sonia Kashuk brand. Oh, yeah. I really think it's just the brush. Okay. So, I do like um, what it turned out, but it kind of took more work than my um, Marc Jacobs one usually does. So, not sure how I feel about that. But next, we're going to move on to highlighter. I'm excited to try this one. I'm using the usual A23 brush by Anastasia. So the new highlighter that I'm using is this tiny um, Bobbi Brown. It said it was a travel size, but like highlighter lasts forever. So I know that this is going to be um, like last a really long time. And it's so pretty. That's what it looks like. It's kind of more icy than usual. Usually I go um, champagne, but this is called Pink Glow um, and it's has some white in it, which I'm excited to see how this looks. Okay, ready everyone? I think I'm about to be disappointed with all my new products. This is just like, not that pigmented with the highlight. I wanted it to be like, major there we go that's better i think i had to dig in a little bit harder to get um it to show up how i wanted it to show up but still not the most amazing first impression on that one it's okay i like this um like the shade because i never do this kind of shade but I also kind of miss the bronze because I never stray from bronze. Now that we've done that, <laughs> um, first impression that also was not amazing. I mean, it's nice, but it's not my favorite. Next, we are going to go in with eyebrows. So for eyebrows today, we're going to be using Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in shade Dark Brown. And I will just skip through this, but I'm just lining, like, filling in my eyebrows with this pencil. Okay, so I have on the pencil, and now I'm going to go in with Gimme Brow to just fluff them up. I always go in with Gimme Brow. I use shade 4, just because when it's just the pencil, it just feels wrong. Like, it feels like the hairs need to be emphasized more. Okay, so there's that. And now I'm going to do eyeshadow. And I'm trying to decide if I want to use this Sultry palette from Anastasia. I just got it. Looks like this. And there's a lot of glitters. And that's what I'm excited about. Um, so yeah, I think that I will do this. And I was going to use this Stila... Um, eye glitter it's called smoky storm stila what's it called called though oh glitter and glow liquid eyeshadow because i swatched this and i'm obsessed but i also am doing a holiday um party get ready with me again next week so i want to save this for that so i don't have the exact same makeup look um so yeah we're just gonna do this anastasia um yeah so i haven't even like swatched these or anything brand new it's very exciting but i have no idea what i'm gonna do yet let's go in with the shade twig here just for some transition and i don't know if you guys have an anastasia beverly hills palette but there's a lot of fallout i don't necessarily mind that that much but wow okay 
Wow. Okay. Wow. I mean, not what I expected, but I don't necessarily have a problem with that either. Just this looked like such a light shade and it just went on very dark. So I'm going to tap extra. Um, yeah, it went on very dark, but it blends nice. It's very pigmented. Okay, let's now go in with Birch up in this corner. So now though I know that this palette is for one, I'm really trying to be intense. This birch color is more orange, which I like. Um, we're going to bring that on the outside. Use it to blend up here a little bit more. It's funny, this one's like not pigmented at all. And of course the other one is like overpowering. I'm going to um, use the brush that comes in here now because it has a nice flat end. So now that I have that on, I wanna do pink sparkles, I think. So I'm gonna use um, the rose quartz, but I'm gonna just plow this brush into it so I pick up as much as possible. And I'm going to put that here. Okay, that's gorgeous. Really big fan of that. Looks great, oh my gosh, wow, I love this. What do you guys think? I really like it. So I'm just gonna put more of this in. I'm obsessed with this color, like actually, but I'm gonna switch around to this side of the brush just to blend it in with the more smoky part. Oh my gosh, wait. I wish, like I hope that you guys can see this because I'm actually in love with what this is looking like. I'm gonna just put even more on so it's even more shiny and beautiful. Okay, check that out love it okay so now I think to add a pop of color to the um, corners I want to do um, I'm thinking the pearl so I'm just gonna use my finger for the inner corner because that's how I prefer to do it Ooh, okay let's do it it doesn't look that much different actually yes it does <laughs> Wow, okay. I'm obsessed with this palette. I'm so glad that one of my first impressions is working out for me. <laughs> wow, I'm stoked about this, truly. I really, really love this. And I don't usually like any other colors besides like gold or brown, but this rose color, I'm living for it. Oh wait, did I say, I think I said the sultry. This is the sultry one also, how fun is that outside? Um, but okay, now that I've done that amazing eyeshadow, which I'm really proud of myself about, and for eyeliner today, we're going to be using the Tattoo Liner by Kat Von D. It's a pointy tip, and to me, this is just the easiest thing to make a wing. Okay, so here are the wings. They look really good. So now that the eyeliner is on, I'm not doing fake eyelashes. I'm going to just do mascara. I'm going to do this Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and just load it on. Now the exciting part is the lips. That really adds the holiday. I mean, the eyes are definitely very sparkly and pretty, so they're very holiday. But I'm using this um, first impression, Anastasia Beverly Hills Red Lipstick in shade American Doll. Okay. So this is my holiday party makeup look with first impressions. I let you guys know how it, um, how I liked everything. Um, the only thing that I was a little unsure of was the bronzer and the highlighter, but I think the highlighter ended up being good. Okay, so after I um, curl my hair, I don't brush it. I just curl, let it go down, and then I um, put my fingers through it. Oh, I wish I wasn't in black so you could see a little better. But then I take my favorite hair product called um, Triple Sec by Drybar. It's three-in-one, so it texturizes, amplifies, and refreshes. 
So I do that, take this and I just like, as I drop it, it's really powerful. So I hold it usually um, a little far away just to get some volume in there. This is, looks really good. You can see just it just adds a little oomph. It says too, if you really want um, like a ton of volume to do it upside down, but I don't usually do that. Ta-da, that's it for the hair. Okay, so this is the outfit for the holiday party. Get ready with me. Um, so the necklace is Princess Polly. I really like it because it's long and can go outside of the turtleneck. And the turtleneck is from Target. It's just kind of ribbed and just a basic long sleeve. And then over that, we have this um, black velvet dress from Forever 21, which is just a straight neck. It's really cute, it's good for the holidays. And then we have these white boots, which I'm really excited about. I was looking for white boots forever. Um, and these ones are from Aldo, um, but I got them at DSW, which is nice. Then if you're cold, this leopard jacket is a really good addition um, for the holidays. It goes with the colors pretty well. Then I just added this red purse to add a pop of um, Christmas color to the outfit, make it more holiday. So yeah.